MSC Cruises has just launched the largest air charter program for their guests who will be sailing with them. The port of Malaga in Spain has welcomed the first cruise ship ever since the pandemic set in. Seaborne has announced updated cruise restart dates. Coral Expeditions has added two more North Australian cruises for next year, which is in January 2022. The British Virgin Islands Port Authority has launched a vaccination program to support and encourage their staff and channel partners to go ahead and get vaccinated. Finland-based company Watsala and Japan-based company Weather News, which is popularly known as WNI, have gone ahead and announced the signing of a strategic partnership. What's good everyone, you're watching Get Cruise Ship Info and more. Before we jump right into the video, may I request you to please go ahead and click that subscribe button and also activate notifications so that you stay updated whenever I drop my next latest cruise news update. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So MSC Cruises has announced that it has chartered the industry's largest air charter program for the summer of 2021 to make more ports of embarkation easily and safely accessible from a range of European itineraries. The guests will have access to a seamless journey from their homes to the ship for the holidays at sea, all under the protection of the company's industry-leading health and safety program now which is extended to also cover air travel. Now this has opened up a wide choice of boats, ships and itineraries this summer for MSC Cruises guests from Italy, France, Germany, Spain and Switzerland for sailings in the West Mediterranean, East Mediterranean and Northern Europe. This is what Gianni Onorato, CEO of MSC Cruises had to share. As more of our fleet continues to return to service this summer and our returning and new guests look to plan their holidays on one of our ships across Europe. We felt we had to respond to the impact that the pandemic has had on many airlines. As many are still not yet operating with a normal flight timetable, we wanted to give our guests from across Europe the peace of mind that they can reach their embarkation port in a seamless and safe way. MSC Cruises industry leading health and safety protocol will be extended to apply to the chartered flights which will be operated together with some of Europe's leading airlines. Gianni went on to add by saying that we have utilized the experience gained since we returned to operations last August and will work with our aviation partners to apply our industry leading health and safety protocols to the charter flights so that we can extend also that portion of the guest journey which includes the social bubble of the ship. This is yet another example of how we are pushing boundaries and delivering another industry first to provide our guests with the confidence and peace of mind that they need to be able to fully enjoy their holiday with us. Now, talking of the chartered flights, MSC Cruises has committed to charter flights between July and October 2021 with more than 26,000 seats from airlines including Iberia, Alitalia, Air France, Eurowings and Neos to fly from convenient and accessible airports across Germany, Spain, France, Italy and Switzerland so that the guests can arrive at convenient times at an airport close to the embarkation port ahead of the start of their cruise holiday. With many airlines having to alter their flight schedules at relatively short notices as a result of changing travel restrictions, MSC Cruises decided to take charge of the situation and charter aircrafts to assure its guests that their air transport connections will take off as planned and their holiday plans will not be affected. MSC Cruises this summer will operate 8 ships out of Europe six of which will benefit from this full and rich fly and cruise program. So the following ships have been announced officially, which have been included for this particular program. For the Western Mediterranean, it would be the MSC Grandiosa and MSC Seaside. Eastern Mediterranean includes MSC Splendida, MSC Orchestra and MSC Magnifica. Northern Europe includes the MSC Seaview. Now, once the guests land at airports, they will then travel to the port ready for embarkation using private MSC Cruises transfers that are protected with the same high standards of MSC Cruises industry leading health and safety protocols on board its fleet of ships and now on board its chartered planes. In a further commitment to offer stress-free holidays and ensure the well-being of its guests for summer sailings, MSC Cruises has worked with Europe's largest insurance provider. Europe assistance to have a COVID-19 protection plan in place, priced at €25 Euros per person to cover guests before, during and after a cruise. Seaborne has announced revised restart dates for five of their ships currently in their fleet. To begin with, we've got the Seaborne Ovation which is scheduled to set sail on the 3rd of July, departing from Athens, Greece to operate in the Greek Isles. 
Seaborn Oresi follows suit on the 18th of July, departing from Bridgetown, Barbados, to operate in the Southern Caribbean. Then comes the Seaborn Quest, which is scheduled in the month of November on the 7th of November, departing from Miami to begin the Antarctica season. This was previously announced by Seaborn and the bookings were also sold out pretty fast. Then we move on to Seaborn Sojourn, which is scheduled for next year in the first month of January, on January 11th, departing from Los Angeles to begin the world cruise. And lastly, we've got the Seaborn Encore, which is scheduled for 17th of April, 2022, departing from Athens, Greece. So what's changed? The Seaborn Encore and the Seaborn Ovation will not sail in Asia, Arabia or Australia for the 2021 to 2022 fall or winter spring seasons due to the continuing limitations in travel throughout those regions. So how has this played out? The brand is going ahead and cancelling select departures on Seaborn Encore and Seaborn Ovation between the 1st of September 2021 to the 26th of April 2022 to align with the overall restart plan. Now, these new Seaborn Ovation sailings will be open for booking from the 8th of July 2021. This will be the first time Seaborn Ovation will call on the United States. Malaga has become the first port in Spain's mainland to host a cruise ship upon the restart of operations after a 15-month pause. TUI Cruises Mindshift 2 arrived from the Canary Islands on the 16th of June at approximately 6.15 am. She was carrying a total of 1,275 passengers and she stayed in port until 7 pm of the same day when she departed for Palma de Mallorca to start domestic itineraries in Spain. The Mindshift 2 will be visiting Malaga again on the 22nd of June and the 6th of July to mark the first special sailing. Representatives from the port and destination have met with Tom Roth the captain from Mindshift 2 and handed a commemorating plaque. The mayor of Malaga, Francisco de la Torre, said that the cruise tourism will reactivate tourism in Malaga, which is an essential cruise destination for cruise lines. The UI mentioned that they've developed a bubble cruise experience, allowing only organized excursions, which guarantees that the anti-COVID-19 safety measures are respected, thus benefiting both the passengers and the crew, as well as the population of the destinations visited. So, what did the guests get to do in Malaga? The guests visited the city and other towns nearby in small groups, having chosen emblematic places of the historical city centre of Malaga as well as Ronda, Mijas and Marbella, among others, supporting the recovery of the economy. The Mindshift 4 was also in Malaga port on the 16th of June. She arrived in the afternoon at 3pm for a technical stop with no guests. Coral Expeditions has announced two special North Australian departures entitled Across the Top for early 2022. The itineraries will operate between Broome and Cairns in January 2022, with only two 18-night voyages planned on the company's expedition ship, the Coral Adventurer. Now, covering over 4,000 kilometers of remote coastline, the voyage will take a small number of guests through Australia's Great Rivers, pristine outer reefs, and ancient traditional communities seen by very few in their lifetime. The expeditions will be hosted by Coral Expedition's renowned guides who will share insights into the rich history, geology, and indigenous cultures of the region. Highlights of the 18-night voyage include birdwatching in areas such as the Lassipede Islands and Adele Island, riding the tidal rapids through horizontal falls aboard a zodiac, standing at the tip of Australia on Cape York, and more. The first 18-night Broom to Cairns voyage departs on the 1st of January 2022 and the second 18-night Cairns to Broom voyage departs on the 20th of January 2022. Now, the prices for these voyages start at $13,450 per person per voyage. Watsila Voyage and Japan-based Weather News, which is popularly known as WNI, have announced the signing of a strategic partnership agreement which will enable the integration of WNI's weather forecasting data and optimum ship routing service with Watsila's products and solutions. So, by automating navigation and route planning functions with weather avoidance technology, owners can reduce risks and allow seafarers to concentrate on the operational requirements. Watsila said in a prepared statement, WNI, which is described as the world's largest private weather routing provider, currently supports around 10,000 vessels worldwide using a number of risk communicators and meteorologists to deliver advanced weather forecasting. 
The partnership is expected to result in additional features such as route overlays and charts being developed once the WNI weather service has been fully integrated into the Wadsala systems. The aim is to boost safer navigation and reduce fuel consumption, which in turn will lessen emission levels and aid shipping's decarbonization ambitions. And with that, we conclude our latest cruise news update for 17 June. If you enjoyed watching this video, a subscribe to my channel and a thumbs up for my video will really, really help me in a huge way. Thank you very much. Until next time, you take care and stay safe.